Hey everyone, welcome back to Carrots and Olives. My name is Brittany and today we are going to be talking about what I'm currently using and some new products and old products kind of refurbished that I'm using as well. So let's start off with this. This is my Chic Sparrow Tote and I got it repaired by Chic Sparrow. It only took um, like a year and a half. <laughs> for me to really uh, make sure to get it done. And this is the Rustic Toe, it's a brown leather. It is the same leather as the, I think it's the Waypoint notebook on their website. And so it has two side pockets. Here's one of the pockets. And then here's the other pocket and I don't have the best angle just because I just wanted to quickly um, shout out to Chic Sparrow as they did a great job with their customer service and getting the tote out and returned to me in record time. Leather is doing very well. I think I've had this for almost two years now and I am currently using it as a work bag. So you can see all the markings that it has so far. And it's a pretty large bag, and so if any of you guys are on the fence, I highly suggest getting this tote. Um, it doesn't have a zipper, which, you know, some people like zippers. Like, I really, really like zipper purses, but I'm okay with having this as like a work bag to throw in my tablet, my notebooks, and any other stuff that I may need on the go. So that is the first thing. Next thing is I am using, this is the uh, Rovina's, not folio, it's a trifle, and this is in the natural leather, and it is, has a little bit of patina, not too much, um, that's just because I hardly ever have it sitting in the sun. I didn't want to tan it right away. I kind of wanted it to tan over time. And the leather has definitely softened. I There is a lady on the Instagram who had suggested that I roll it to soften it up. And it's definitely a lot more softer. The inside was a little bit like a tad bit rougher and now I guess with my the oils from my hands and touching it and um, kind of flexing with it I guess you could say like flexing this way it is more precious to me than when I first bought it and so I really like it it holds by Hobonichi Techo which I am currently using um, this month for Inktober. And so if you are following me on Instagram, you will be seeing those Inktober doodles. I am not doing videos of my drawings on YouTube um, just because it's a lot of work. And as you can tell now that I've hardly posted many videos in the past few weeks just because I've just been so busy. So that's what I'm using this for. I will keep you posted on how it continues to patina and I will also post the video like up above or in the description box of when I first did um, my first video on this notebook like a month and a half ago. Next is my folio. This is the A5 and I told you in one of my latest videos that I was going to just try to avoid putting too many books in the folio. Ideally, a folio should hold one book in my mind, and I have been using like two books just because it has two sides, so you can stick one on this side, and then you can stick one on this side, but <clears throat> I've discovered that I overstuff it, and then it just isn't comfortable to write in when I stuff it like that, so I am focusing on just keeping one book in each of my folios, which is why I have multiple folios, which just allows me to feed my addiction. So right now, this is the Canadian leather book that she had like a minimal <clears throat> amount of leather, leather pieces for, and it doesn't really mark up that much. 
I've had this for a couple of months now and you can see a little bit of some watermarks and I actually like the way that the watermarks look on this leather. But I am using this for my Bujo and this is the Taroko Breeze notebook that you can also get from her shop and I really, really like it a lot. I have gradually started to enjoy my Bujo a lot more and this actually just stays on my desk at home. So that is this one and then we have the hand stitch leather and this is my daily journal slash like art journal. Actually I'm just going to call it an art journal because I am doing a lot of sketching and drawings in here along with my journaling. I am sorry for the noise in the background. My son's upstairs being my son. Um, but I hope that doesn't bother you too much. So this notebook, I did do an unboxing from Hand Stitch Leather. It is beautiful leather and it's so, it just has a really, really like certain texture and feel to it. It just like, it just, Oh, I just, I love it. So this is the mahogany leather, the color of the notebook. And so far, <clears throat> I have been doing like some of my pre-doodles. I've done, I do my journaling in here and, um, and artwork. So you could see, just like quickly show you some of the things I'm doing in here and watching other YouTube videos and trying to learn to draw there as well. So yeah, I really am enjoying this and I really like to use a gel pen on this Tomoe River paper. I just love it. The only thing I will say for those of you who do use like gel pens on the leather, I mean, on Tomoe River is that I find that you have to pick one side of the page to draw on and then you can write on the other side of the page because if you flip over your page and start drawing on this page with gel pen the gel pen that was on the previous page is going to transfer over into this page so that's why I try to stick with just drawing on one side of the page and then journaling on this side. So that's just a tip for you if you want to know. Otherwise, you start getting like extra marks on your on your drawings. So that's how I'm using it. I don't really have like the pockets full or filled with much of anything. I do put my pens here, and you might be able to see from the leather how like the clips kind of put an indention on the leather here, but. I don't mind because it's character. It's just molding really, really nicely to my notebook and I've only had it for a few weeks now, so I love it. So that is my art journal. This is my Bujo. This is my Hobonichi doodle, like daily doodles that I do. Now on to something, a few new things. This. This is Solomon and it is from Rowena. This is her new fall leather. She has this color and she has a green color. This is a blue, like a navy blue color. So you can see, and it has like, I like to describe it as a uh, basketball textured leather. Like it has that pebbly, a little bit of pebble, but it's not like a lot of raised pebbles, but you can kind of see a crackling in the leather and it has that grip to it. It's really nice texture. So this is holding my Hobonichi Weeks and I use this on the go. Um, and I've also been using it for like doodling on the right side or like painting with my watercolor on the right side and then putting all my to-dos on the left side. Um, important things to remember, appointments and things like that. And that's how I've been doing this. And then if I happen to not fill out, then I will go back and document those things that I did. 
So like for this week, I was really busy and I did not get a chance to fill out my week while the week was going or even in advance. But I did document that in other places and I will go back and fill it out. So that was Solomon. Next is my Caribou and it's a dark, beautiful leather. And it is the leather that will, um, will mark up really, really, really nicely. I am going to be using this for next year for my um, new Bujo. And this is my new Bujo. This is the Archer and Olive notebook. I did a review on this and I will link that also either in the description or up in the links above. But I haven't really touched it because I'm not gonna use it yet. <laughs> So I'm saving it. I have it prepared. I'm prepared for next year. So that is what this is for. And then if you're wondering, these holes here are to be able to stick a, like a pencil in here. And I'm pretty sure you could probably stick something else in here, like a maybe a fountain pen, a thin fountain pen. But that's what that's for. And it is really lightweight leather because that's what Sojourners are about and Rowena is about. And so it's just... A flap over the leather and kind of like a folio but it has these um, it's like a strap where you put in your notebook so this is considered her folio 2.0 and it is a little bit more lightweight than her first folio so it is a nice design I really like it and I'm super excited to be using this for next year so it just kind of sits on my shelf and I look at it and I pet it every so often just to get me excited for next year. And then when I did my video on the hand stitch leather notebook, I got a wonderful response from the owner and she ended up shipping this to me. This is actually a B5 size notebook. And I got it in the same design as my A5. So you can see the size difference. It's pretty large, but when you don't have anything else to compare it to, it doesn't look like crazy large at all. It just, and then you put the A5 and they're like, oh wait, it is pretty big. But by itself, I think it's a pretty good size. I got the lighter leather color. Um, it's the, I don't know what the name of it's called, but it's the lightest leather um, that you'll see on her website. To compare, this is the mahogany and this is the lighter one. So you can kind of tell this is like the light browns that you typically would see um, in comparison to like a caribou. Caribou is super, super dark, but it has that pull up quality where if you you can kind of see the variations in texture. <clears throat> this one doesn't have it so much. You can scratch it, and I guess you could rub it out a little bit, but you can see these lines here, and that's just part of the leather. It was already like that. So I literally got this yesterday, opened it up, and I was super ecstatic. I currently have the Rodia B5 notebook, and this is the stitch notebook that you can get from Goulet Pens. I haven't tried any other B5 notebooks, but I love this one, and I can't wait to get another one. This is actually the lined paper. I use this for work, and um, but it has the pockets, which are similar to that of my A5, which I already did a review on, and the color is beautiful. Her stitching is wonderful. And yeah, it's amazing leather. I just love the way it feels. It just makes me want to squeeze it and just do this to it like all day because it just feels really nice in your hands. So that really completes all I wanted to say. If you guys have any questions, anything specific to what I discussed here in the video, please leave a comment down below. I do plan to do more videos 
but if there's something that someone wants to see specifically, please let me know because I would like to show you more things and explain more things to you, especially those things you want to hear. So make sure to comment. And yeah, so I want to thank you guys for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.